Hello and welcome yet again. Thanks for tuning in. And as I promised in the video about the chicken farm I made several minutes ago, maybe you just watched it, maybe not. If you want, you'll find the link somewhere around my channel. I promised I'd do a video about an automated pumpkin and melon farm. And this is the basic layout I'll be using. I can't re even remember which side I just planted, um, but we'll see when the, when the product grows, so bear with me. As you might know, a simple block of water suffices to hydrate four adjacent blocks with water, so I could even till these parts and everything would be hydrated. But since we are going to make an automated farm with red power, I will use only one lane of pumpkins and um, pumpkins and melons. So basic idea is when the, the plant grows, let's just get it to grow. It will produce a fruit on the adjacent block. Harvesting this fruit is pretty simple. We'll be using a simple block breaker to collect the result. As you can see, it's already working. So let me just put down the block breakers. Uh -huh. Like this. Giving a redstone signal on the block breaker will activate and um, harvest well the plants. But the problem is, as you can see right here, under the block, the tilt ground reverts back to regular dirt. So you'll have to retill the ground and that's the well, non-trivial part. It's pretty easy, but um, well, I'll just show you how I did it. So let's first connect some tubes. So whenever we power the breakers, we'll simply collect the result in this chest, like this. Let's uh, put some wire on it. These wires will power the block breakers. I'll just uh, put a cover on here so I can lay a wire over there. And let's put a timer down. This timer will just give a pulse and harvest our precious melons and pumpkins. As you can see, this part already works. As you, as you can see, the ground is not tilled anymore over there. And that's the next step we'll have to address. So, in order to do, to do this, I'll temporarily put some dirt over here. This is just so I can put the blocks down more easily. So, the point of all this, these deployers are pretty useful and versatile. You can use them to actually retill your ground. I'll show you how to do this in a minute. Here, there we go. We can uh, remove the dirt. But we'll just have to um, reorient the deployers so they face downward. Like this. 
that's the basic setup we want to have. And we have to fill the deployers with hose. So we'll have to get several of them. One per deployer sufficient. These will be used. So whenever you actually till the ground and it can till the ground, so it, it can use one of the hose, it will damage it a little as if you used it yourself. So you might want to fill them up with simple and cheap stone hose. I don't know, but for demonstration purposes this will suffice. Just a moment, some more. There we go. There we go. That's basically everything you need. As you can see, the block breaker will collect the items and the deployers will simply re-till the ground so that a new one can grow. That is basically all you need. You can cover it up and make it a little nicer, but this way you can easily achieve a completely automated farm. The only thing you have to worry about is refilling the deployers with the hose when they're used up. The whole, the whole system won't work anymore. But the good part is, as you can see, this one is not damaged at all. And here, where the ground is freshly tilled, you can see this one is damaged. So it will only use up the hoe whenever it is used to till the ground. So it won't um, damage itself when there's nothing to do. And this way you can just let it, let it run and it will very simply and easily collect enough food and well whatever you want to use melons for, no, um, pumpkins can make these nice lanterns out of them maybe. But well, <clears throat> you know what to use them for, so, but that's a pretty easy way to build an automated farm. Well, that was a short video. Okay, thanks for watching and hope you like the design.